Alrighty, we are back at quarter of seven. We're gonna look at the weather in just a sec. We're talking about other stuff, but I want to get this in if I can, because it's important. Okay, so anyway. Starting on the 16th, which is Friday, there's going to be a wrapping station at the main mall where you can take your gifts and get them wrapped. Uh, for a donation to Robbie Foundation, which is a grassroots main organization that grants adaptive equipment and therapies to kids with special needs. Um, so again, like all mall hours from this Friday until um, Christmas Eve, people mm. will be there for all you last minute shoppers. And some new Center Main people are gonna be there too. I'm teaming up with Hannah Yeshivi and our friend Angie Helton from Northeast Media Associates to take a shift on Wednesday the 21st from one to five. And then Sam York, Aaron Myler, and I will be taking a shift on Friday the 23rd. So that's pretty much down to the wire, yeah. you guys, from um, uh, 10 to 1 in the morning. Mm. So um, if you're going to be shopping at the main mall during those hours, or you can even bring your gifts into the mall. You don't have to buy them that day. If you want to just bring them in, you can do that. Which camera am I on? This one. You're on um, the steady one. Luke, you're whose good. arms are getting tired because yeah. I've been talking a long time. You okay back there, Luke? Okay, he's, <laughs> he's good. A pro. He is a pro. Um, so anyway, I hope you'll come by and see us and get some gifts wrap and make a donation for Robbie Foundation. Yeah. We're not professional wrappers, but we'll do our best. Uh, that's a great service because a lot of people need help wrapping things. <laughs> yes. So yes. thank you in advance and, for all of your help. <laughs> and not to be sexist, we get a lot of people, and I'd say 75% or more are men. men. <laughs> yeah. How, how many paper cuts do you end up with? after this event every year? I, you know, I want, I'm gonna say none, and then I'm gonna knock on you someone. You are going to get, every <laughs> finger is gonna right. be sliced up this year right. for sure. No, no, I'm, That's I'm, big. I'm fast and good. Uh, oh, okay. Just so you know. You, you heard that, you heard that. Please go to weather. <laughs> <My God. laughs> Please. That's all I want for Christmas. I want you to go to weather. <laughs> that just happened. Well, uh, this, <laughs> there's, Snow falling right now in eastern or northern Maine. Usually I keep my composure, but I can't right now. I just can't. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> I mean, wow. Okay. There's, there's snow falling from Bangor up to Holton this morning, and 95 is probably a little slick. Salt trucks out there, maybe even the plows too. We're looking at coatings to a couple of inches. We do have some flakes falling in Bangor, although they're very light, a little steadier up through Orno and Old Town, Greenbush, Enfield, etc. Be careful on the roads this morning. Temperatures are around 20. The wind, though, man, it's already blowing pretty good. Nine is the current feels like temperature in Bangor. We've got a bunch of sevens on the map. The coldest one, though, is Sanford and Berlin, New Hampshire. Oop, I take that back. Greenville up on Moosehead. It feels like four right now. High pressure is going to be nosing in. That'll quiet us down to this afternoon. All of tomorrow looks fine. And then we've got this storm working in for Friday and Saturday. It's going to be bigger and definitely more impactful for the majority of the state. Snow showers that are present now will start to dwindle and fall apart, but we're still seeing a lot of cloud cover. Southern half of the state, though, gets sunny skies. We all get that wind. It is going to sting as you head outside. Midday, mostly cloudy to the north and east, mostly sunny to the south and west, blustery still, the kind of gusts that you're gonna have to turn your back to because we've got salt and sand on the roads that's gonna get kicked up and blown in your face if you're walking into the wind. Afternoon and evening, heads up for another little burst of snow shower activity. I'm eyeing Augusta to the Bangor area on 95, could get a little slick on the ride home. Wind will finally settle this evening. Highs actually will start to warm up this afternoon and get pretty close to where we should be, which is right around 40. However, the wind kind of cuts those numbers by about 10 degrees, unfortunately. Again, tomorrow looks fine, and then this storm will redevelop off of the mid-Atlantic and form into a nor'easter type storm. We're looking at a slow moving one, so Friday through Saturday, and doesn't really wind down until early Sunday morning. In fact, Sunday there will still be some snow showers around. The track is still going to be hugging the coastline, which introduces mild air at the lowest levels, which is why the coast will have less snow than the interior.
but last night some of the info came in and it ticked a little to the east, the track did, which introduces a little more snow to the coastline now. I have one to three inches along the coastline with a foot up in the mountains and everyone else in between. So there's going to be a super tight gradient. And if this thing gets any colder at all, we're going to have to drag bigger snow amounts down to the coastline. So please stay tuned. This is still over 48 hours away. We still have time to watch. Gale warnings are up, seas 5 to 8, northwest winds gusting to 45 knots. Partly sunny today, there'll be a few flakes at times. Wind for everyone today, highs in the 30s, mostly cloudy tomorrow in the 30s. Rain and snow will develop by midday on Friday. The storm peaks Friday night and Saturday morning and then slowly falls off. Early next week, behind the storm, we're back to sunshine, but we're sticking with the cold and the wind too on both Monday and Tuesday. Winter is here mm -hmm. and it's sticking around. All right, All right sir. Thank, thank you, you for yeah. that.